Hello everyone and welcome back to runout.tv Today we're going to do what we all love to do We're going to play some nine ball And we're going to play a Korean match against the Magic Man Now I have lost to the Magic Man a few times He's a good player And uh, I'm going to record a couple of videos tonight One against, whoops, I am there One against the Magic Man And tonight we're going to talk about Um Thinking ahead, oh my god, what is that? Shinier buttons. That was, didn't come off at all. Stop! <laughs> Got a little bit lucky there, I'm not gonna lie. That's part and parcel of the game, that's part of the fun. Now, where that's gone is actually a real problem. Um, well, actually, it's not really, is it? Nah, this is a bit of a roadmap. So, here, guys, if you just have a look at the way the table's set up, you should really be... What's going on with the camera? They should really be looking to clear up. The sh key shot is between the, the 6 and the 7. So, you just give yourself a nice angle. Watch for the in-off there, which we did very well. Just have a little look to see that it's okay that we just drift down table a little bit. We're leaving ourselves a long eight, but not one that we should be frightened of in any way, I don't think. And we'll have the cut into the middle bag for the first rack. So it's all about running out, so that's what we're going to try and do today. And almost you can kind of move away from any real pressure and if I got lucky there I think I might have just got lucky that I haven't left that on or at least I said I would that might be an off it is and you know what guys I'm going to be an evil person and I'm going for this combo because it's the right shot to do Goodbye. Okay, 2 0. Go take your chances where you can get them, guys. This is career play. Well, that could have come off any worse, could it? And then it could that. That was pretty shocking. Got to get me head on. Well, the magic man has not been ma that magic at the minute. So, how are we going to solve the problem of the orange ball? Not sure at the minute. I'm just going to screw this ball back, leave an angle. Don't want to be straight. Uh, right, okay, so let's see. Hmm. That's one way to do it. Oh, not behind the nine, please. Oh, I don't believe I've just done that. What an idiot. Oh, poo and wee. Useless. No idea why the computer's just played safe there. That seems a bit suicidal. We're going to have to make him pay for it. Thank you. 
and finally not really much commentary needed in that rack it was a very odd push out by the computer just kind of gave us that one really so 3-1 after the first mini set and we'll try out this this new break I've been told that 8.2 degrees using the butt angle Ah, uh, right, so apologies for the state of my commentary, it's not great. That is not in. So there's a, f a lot of mistakes coming from the computer. Now I've got very lucky there, definitely. So the shot here, I think, is to go around two cushions with a bit of side spin and take the, the ball in the middle. I might have gone a bit too far and left myself only really the double here. <sighs> Bad miss by the machine. So we're getting too many chances if I'm honest at the moment. Okay, so lift it up to 8.2. Right, so Great shot. Not so great. Better. We need to pull some out the bag now. So this gives me a, an opportunity to pot a big pot. Don't have to worry about position so much. Got the pot. The like us say the position was basically guaranteed. That was a bad shot. Didn't that didn't deserve to go in at all. So let's um so go back across the table we want to be as straight as we can on this ball so we can roll behind you know basically down towards the nine but without ending up on the back cushion that's worked out well so we should be taking a 5-1 lead guys into this next second half of the match Well, now I've dollied it up. It's pretty rubbish. Whew. Long day today. I've been out leafleting today. Um, I've been doing loads of different stuff. I've also got my new Football Manager channel, which you guys, I hope, will, will tune into and support. I'm not quitting this channel, but at the end of the day, it's really not got that many subscribers, so I'm hoping to build an alternative channel and if that takes over the run out of TV then I'll do that instead but at the minute I've got no plans to to leave you well that's a great shot and the computer has sprung into life Okay, so here we go. Right, so we're back on track here. We've got a bit of a choice. I think trying to pot this into the opposite corner is probably the shot. I didn't go far enough, but the only danger here is to lose the red on the cushion, which I think is going to happen. But I caught a bit of the knuckle, so I got away with that one. And everything else is looking good. I might chance to move the nine here. Get that out a little bit. Oh, 
Now, if anything, I've made my job a little bit harder here by... Oh, that was shocking. Right. Around the back of the nine, hopefully. Oh, well, I put them both, so that works. Now, I'm not sure if I'm doing anything wrong, but that break does not work, so I'm just going to give it up. Well, we don't need to take that shot. I'm not at 6 3 up. Very odd shot selection, that. Just worked our way through that hole. Sorry, I was just uh, distracted there watching a bit of the football. So, here, would you play screw back? I mean, top spin seems like the obvious one for me. And then just play. So, we're 7 3 up now. So, really, the next two racks should define this match. If it gets a 9 3, then the chances are you won't be able to get back in it. If you can get back to 7-5, that's a big different. 8-4 is still sort of half a chance. So it's a bit of a precarious two racks coming up. Right, we're just going for a thin nick off this. That works okay. So 7-3, you know, if you're in this situation, you don't want to be patting yourself on the back too much. You're only four frames ahead. But what you do want to do is make sure that you... Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I think I'll probably just thin nick off this side and get the white back in the middle of the table. You know, keep keep it tight. Don't let them back in the match. That's a key. Well, you can't legislate for luck like that. So that's very difficult. Now, this is close to enough, but it isn't. And this could go anywhere. Right, so we are given a chance here that we perhaps shouldn't have had. But perhaps there's a little bit of poetic justice there that we should have, you know, we would have been unlucky not to. So I've deliberately screwed past this, knowing that if I come back, we might have the straight screw back. We do. We just have to let the spin do the work. And we're going to be 8 3 up. So 8 3 again, the next two racks become very important although we do have a little bit of leeway well there's a golden break straight away let's have a replay of that guys as you can see watch the nine ball starts going there and it gets hit deflected in off the eight so at nine three we are in good shape now looks like there's nothing going in but that's five will go and uh we have a chance so it's always a good idea that if you do get a chance to break it out take it don't do that don't go in off even at 9-3, and when you guys any watch anyone watches darts, but Mervyn King was 9-2 up against James Wade the other day in the Moss in the Champions Final of a big event. And Wade he came back from 9-2 and won 10-9. And uh, a, a great result for James Wade. So it can happen. 9-4. And the computer, it's well known that the computer misses less as the match goes on, generally speaking. So we need to take this opportunity by and that is a really nice shot. That could be the match winner right there. 
but it's only the match winner. Oh, that was a oh, poor, poor. Yeah, that's in. Oh, God. I've lost matches from precarious positions before. That's a terrible shot. Well, that is a, a chance that we shouldn't have had again. There's one. And, uh, and that's going to be two. So 10-4. So the obvious problem in this rack is of course the orange ball, whoever solves the, the puzzle of, of that ball probably is the one that wins this rack, and the computer perhaps not unwisely leaves it to me, however I'm not going to take the bait, I'm going to put the 8 ball safe and the green safe, now how about that for an ugly looking rack, let's see what happens here. Can't imagine the computer will pot this ball, no. Um, what I'm going to do is just keep it tight again. And let's play a bit of tactical pool here. Well, <laughs> that's one way of doing it. And we're risking the three foul rule here. Can I get through there? I cannot. So the three foul uh, has temporarily gone away. And there we go, we have an opening. And did I out tactics the computer there? I'm going to say I did. Followed by a nice pot, and hopefully, I've just demonstrated how to out tactics the computer. Although, oh no, man, Malcolm, what you doing, son? Absolute lunatic. Ugh. Ugh. Did all the hard work. Right, so, anyway. When the knife's in, twist it, people. Being made to work for this. might be the winning shot I do feel like this perhaps this match isn't quite over yet oh, that's a nice shot there as well okay so I think now we need we do need to put them away when we've got the chance Give myself a little the little bit of leeway that I had. Oh no, no. Can he see it? No, he can't. And he's missed it. Did I deserve that? I don't think I did. I think, to be honest, guys, I've been very lucky to get over the line. I almost missed that brown. That's unbelievable. Just goes to show there's, uh, you can win dirty in this game. And 
and there we have it 11-6 victory but doesn't quite tell the story does it um, so anyway we've started off well in this one be quickly set 11-7 uh, 11-6 and I go on to play Louis who's easily the best player in VP4 so I don't expect to beat him I hope you enjoyed the long nine ball match guys just goes to show that you can win ugly sometimes thanks for watching I'll see you next time